And if you could just point out exactly who you're, you're asking. Uh, let's just go with uh, uh, any, any two of the seniors, any two seniors, yeah. I guess Matt and one of the other guys. Did you guys stay up and watch the entire uh, Mississippi-BYU game and, and outside of uh, their offense, uh, what jumped out at you about Mississippi? Um, yeah, we as a team, we watched, I'd say, the majority of it, if not all of it. And, um, you know, yeah, you saw that they could score a lot. And probably the other thing that jumped out is they really, really offensive rebounded really well. Um, they're a team that's really resilient. They get their own misses and they um, put the ball in the hoop. And, you know, um, they were just tough overall getting stops when they needed to when it came to crunch time. So, you know, they're a very impressive team. Here in the middle, uh, other senior down the end. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they work hard. You know, they're very athletic, and you know they push, they push the pace, and they shoot pretty early in the shot clock. So we gotta make sure we get back in transition. Hey, uh, yeah, a quick follow up, and then we'll get to you next, man. Uh, Hang on for a mic. And and the your thoughts on Stephon Mar uh, Stephon Moody and uh, this the, the the three point shooting and the quickness and everything, and what kind of challenge is that going to be? Oh, he's a good player. Um, it's something that we, we got to prepare for and make sure we're on top of. Um, he likes coming off staggers, and he'll shoot on the break, as you saw last night, for a big shot. So we got to be ready. Here on the aisle in the middle. Miles, what has it been like for you guys to not know your opponent until about midnight last night in terms of your preparations? I mean, today is really the first day you've had to work on Ole Miss. Um, it's a definitely a new experience for us uh just watching the team and be trying to prepare for them a day uh a day after but i mean at the end of the day you gotta do what you gotta do uh we we gotta scout them we gotta go over their actions and i feel like we'll be ready to play when the time comes Good question yep here again remy is someone that often draws the opponent's top players can you also give your opinions on stefan moody and what his strengths are heading into this next game um, yeah, like D said, um, he's a good player. Um, he shoots the ball from anywhere. Uh, he has the green light. Um, you know, like he's very aggressive. So, like you said, we got to stay on top of him. And uh, it's not just going to be one guy. It's going to be a team effort, team defense. So, um, we'll be ready. If you have a question, raise your hand here on the aisle. We'll get a microphone to you in just a moment. Anyone who feels especially passionate about it, any of you guys look at this knowing you're on the national stage from a smaller school and kind of take it as an opportunity to do something for the program as a whole? What was your name and affiliation? Matt Edwards, WOWT. Thank you. Remember, you want to start with that? Uh, you, know, anybody, we, you know, we do, you know, we look forward to this uh, as far as thinking that we're a little school doing something. Um, I don't think we, you know, that's kind of our mentality, you know, to be honest. We think that uh, you know if we're if we're on top of our game, you know we can compete, you know just with anybody. So uh, you know it, it's definitely going to be a big win for us. Um, hopefully, you know if we come out on top, it, you know, it, it'll go down in uh, history with our program. Here again, Matt, can you talk about the size of your front court and how that might be an advantage for you guys against uh, Ole Miss? Yeah, no, um, you know, I think we've done a, a good job of sort of pounding the ball inside and trying to establish it early. And um, I think that's going to be probably another strength of ours again. Um, you know, me, Jalen, James, a lot of other guys, um, we're trying to, you know, make some easy shots first, spread out the court. Um, we have guys who can knock down shots. And, um, you know, it really helps our team if we can spread a team out or continually pound the ball inside and draw fouls. So, you know, that's probably going to be our game plan, obviously, among other things. But it's worked well for us so far. We'll probably continue with it. Here on the second row. Yeah, sorry about the affiliation. Gary okay. Smith, Florida Times Union. I'll go Matt and, and D on this. Uh, you guys, this will be your fourth game against an SEC team this year. Uh, you've, you've had some pretty good success uh, against them. Is there is there a characteristic of SEC teams that you've been able to to pick up on? Uh, maybe something that the opponents or the teams you had earlier this year have in common. I'd say they're very quick. You know, a lot of the teams like to get out in the passing lane, sort of deny the ball, uh, try to get steals, get transition points. Um, you know, even when we were playing Alabama and Auburn, they, they like to heat it up and, and make it a, a quicker pace game. And, you know, we're not an extremely slow team when it comes to pace, but we're also not, you know, the fastest team. Um, so, you know, we'll try to control it at our pace and make it so that we can handle their pressure and everything like that. Yeah, I agree. Um, 
They pushed the tempo in SEC. Also, they, they crashed the offensive glass. Now, that's a big characteristic that I've seen watching SEC, I mean, SEC games. Um, yeah, as far as that, I mean, they hustle. You know, they play hard, just like any other conference, Big East conference. On the aisle again, here in the middle. Shannon Russell, Cincinnati Inquirer. Um, Dee, can you talk about how you're feeling now? I know you were kind of banged up there in the Big East tournament. How are you feeling at this point? Oh, a lot better. Um, treatments with our trainer, uh, David Fluker, has been great. And um, I think we're making strides, me and J.P. McCurry.